Good morning. Many of uh, the students uh, have asked about the light speed and even some of the court reporters uh, about uh, how it works and how I like it. And so I was going to do just a quick little demonstration. I just got the light speed in and uh, this is the uh, program that loads with the light speed and uh, you can see here um, that uh, the keyboard is here and there's another little window here but if I press the keyboard on my light speed you can see that different uh, letters show up down here in this area and I can press I can even press and hold and see how the keys are registering and just kind of get an idea of uh, how it's working and um, one thing I did was I just kind of wrote my alphabet A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H and I can check and, and just kind of see how the keys are looking at this point. Um, it comes with a uh, basic setting um, what they call a basic threshold of 300 for the consonants and 200 for the vowels. Now what's interesting here is uh, I'm going to go to the basic threshold uh, adjustment area which is this tab right here I clicked on it and you can see some other things popped up now if I want to hit the letter H for instance you can see here that this key has two different sensors located on the uh, on the key which is kind of cool and if I hit the uh, vowel you can see that it only has one sensor that it is using. The R uses two. So most of these keys here, the S, the S, T, all of these are using two sensors. And you're able to go up here and see how you press each key. I want to press the H again. And I pressed it pretty hard. Now I'm going to press it again a little bit lighter. And you can see, uh, depending on how how hard I press it, is um, what's going to show up here. And I can press a little bit harder. It looks like on the uh, the S1 area, uh, the P1. It looks like I'm pressing it a little bit harder, perhaps on the the upper part. Now, if I'm going to move my finger down to the lower part of the H, you can see that the numbers changing on the other side. I'm going to go back and press more on the top of the letter and you can see that uh, the uh, the number on the left is getting higher. If I press it in the center you can see I can kind of get a, a kind of an equal reading maybe. But this is kind of cool because what this does is it tells me how hard I'm pressing the keys uh, or how soft I'm pressing the keys. The maximum uh, range that you can press is 1023 and of course the lowest is zero and that's the setting that uh, is set up for the light speed to uh, register the, uh, the key sensors. So you can press harder than 1023 but it's not going to matter because the light speed is only going to register at 1023. If you press really soft uh, of course the number is going to go down. Now I have to press at least 300 is my understanding to at least get the key to register and you know I pressed over here on this one I got a 639 on this one I didn't but uh, it still registered uh, because I cleared the 300 threshold. So if you uh, if you tend to uh, uh, hit the keys uh, soft or hard you can go in here and adjust uh, the keys to your liking and what I'm going to do for the next several days is probably leave things where they are. I've noticed uh, that when I'm writing my alphabet that sometimes my letter L may not be coming up and so I may uh, want to uh, adjust that uh, to make it maybe a little bit softer because I may have a light touch I'm not hitting it quite as hard and to make it pick up so 
this kind of helps you uh, uh, set up the light speed and gives you uh, uh, the ability to adjust each key. Now one thing you can do is if you wanted to you can turn the uh, the threshold up all across the board. You can say, you know, I don't want it to be 300, I want it to be 400 and you can just tell the light speed uh, settings that uh, I don't want to start off at 300, I want to make it 400 and then uh, work from there. So um, this is really nice. It gives you uh, a lot of uh, options here for how you uh, how you hit keys and I want you to notice the the middle section here the two middle keys they have three sensors if you uh, are maybe perhaps using like I've got the wide key here and this one is a wide key for me so if I'm dragging that F over here and I'm, I'm dragging it with the uh, the asterisk or maybe I'm dragging the R down here with the asterisk and what I might want to do is I might want to have say the S3 set to be uh, readable to where if I barely get that it's going to come up okay or if I'm using the S with the asterisk uh, my tendency might be to put that my pointy finger in this area as opposed to all over here so if I if I'm doing that and I'm reg not registering that asterisk key I might want to make some adjustments maybe just on the uh, the S3 section uh, and I might want to adjust uh, the number here to be maybe less sensitive or more sensitive depending on what my writing tendency is. If I tend to maybe hit this thing by accident more often what I might want to do is increase this number to tell the light speed that I need to hit that key harder uh, to make it register and to be more deliberate that way if I'm kind of dragging that finger by accident over here I may not want it to be registering and giving me a lot of untranslates and then um, once you're finished you can click on save if you want to I haven't done any adjustments here so I'm just gonna let it go but uh, you can click on save and you're able to save all of your keyboard adjustments into uh, another setting and then what's nice about that is if you have a good setting here you like it you use it for a while you're good to go but if you want to go in and make some adjustments you can go make new adjustments save it as another name for instance I might want to call it uh, Breck 912 setting or something like that if I come in say next week and or maybe on the 15th I make some changes and I like it better I can save it as BREC 915 but if I find that perhaps 915 isn't working very well I can uh, go back to loading a previous setting say BREC 912 if that worked better and also uh, users that have the light speed can email you their settings and you can load other people's settings and set the keyboard up with uh, their settings to see how you like it so this is really kinda cool uh, as far as how that works and right now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to hit cancel I don't want to save changes I want to cancel my changes so I'm gonna click yes and then I'm kinda back to the light speed and so I can go back here and do A B C D E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N. And I can just go down and I can kind of see here quickly how uh, how the keys are coming up. If you want to, you can set up your uh, computer software and look on the, uh, the real-time, set you up a real-time test file, a play file, and uh, take it from there and see how uh, you like the settings. But um, like I said, I'm going to start off and go with uh, what it is for right now at 300 and 300 and then I believe the valves might be at 200 see how they work and if I don't like them I'll go back up here to key adjustments and probably make some adjustments here and see how I like it and go from there and uh, make changes as I go is my writing perfect on this thing right now absolutely not and I didn't expect it to be 
but uh, it's a lot uh, better than I thought and uh, I'm very happy with it so uh, that's kind of a, a quick overview of of kind of the basics of uh, just my early adventure into the uh, light speed and and some of the things that I'm going to be working on right now and I will post more videos as uh, I feel necessary and to kind of give you all an idea of uh, how I've got things uh, set up or how it's working so with that I will close and I am done for right now thanks